Hi, this is Andrew Kerry Bedell from ITs in Conservation looking at QR or quick response codes. With 94% of the public uh, actually now owning a mobile uh, or 50% having an advanced smartphone um, like this, which for example is a, an HTC Desire, um, this uh, in fact can then uh, access emails and also the mobile internet, so a little bit more advanced than a mobile. But basically the vast majority of people actually now owns this sort of phone. What we're looking at is QR codes or quick response codes. So these are the small things that you've probably seen in newspapers, on TV and in magazines with their three distinct square boxes. A QR code is the most popular, what's called contactless technology. In other words, able to be accessed and scanned by a mobile phone or smartphone. And they are two dimensional barcodes that can be scanned by the smartphone's uh, built in camera. So most phones have now got a reasonable resolution camera on the back. And obviously it needs a, a QR reader application. Um, there are lots of different uh, applications, uh, QR readers, um, Microsoft Tag, iNigma, uh, but lots of others as well. These are just a, a range of different scanners uh, available that you can download all free to your um, smartphone. So how does a QR code work? Well, basically you need just three things. You need the camera to point at the QR code. Um, you'll need the app installed to read the QR code uh, installed on your mobile and web access to go to the page the QR code links to. But in fact, uh, QR codes can actually link to a whole range of different things, uh, not just web pages that are online, but also they can link to straight text so you can access them offline, pictures, audio, videos, uh, map locations or even things like interactive games as well. So it's rapidly being recognised in a range of different sectors, including, for example, the heritage sector, that there's great potential in the use of these QR codes uh, and other mobile technologies as well, like near field communication tags um, and also uh, augmented reality to basically help people visiting heritage sites and give them instant information uh, available as and when they, they need it. So let's have a look at one example. Um, let's just scan this simple QR code. You can see how small this one is. This is probably about um, 30 centimetres. So how do we actually scan it? Well, if I just go to a QR scanner, in this case I'm just going to use uh, Microsoft Tag, but I could use uh, some of the different applications. So you can see here it says scan. They all work in a similar way. So if I actually press scan, there will be a box that will appear uh, in which I actually place the QR code. So as I bring that in there, it almost immediately pulls it up. All codes will scan within about uh, two to five seconds. And in this case, it goes directly to uh, a web page, which is a Wikipedia page, which is all about trebuchet uh, siege engines. On the South Downs, we've actually been citing uh, QR codes at nine different locations, but also including a Google cycle map. So in this case, um, we've actually had about a thousand QR codes scanned and the cycle map has been the most popular. Um, so if I scan this particular code, so these are cited on Wayposts, for example, again, it comes up almost instantly. Then this is obviously a slightly bigger web page, but again, it's a, it's a mobile web page. Um, and you can see that um, a map actually appears. So that's the Google map of the South Downs centered on the location you're at. Um, and again, you can use that and make that um, a lot larger. Um, basically, that's it as far as QR codes are concerned. Um, there is another example briefly here, which I'll just show you. So if I just go back to this one, this is a, a example of new type of interpretation, which has also got near field communication tags on here. Um, so we can scan the QR code. But in this case, I'm actually going to scan the near field communication tag. Now, they work in a very similar way to QR codes. And as I actually get near to the tag itself, you heard it, the sound there, it'll pick it up. And in this case, it goes straight to the page. Um, but that actually works in exactly the same as a QR code. So in the heritage sector, certainly, um, we're finding a lot of organisations are actually combining pictures, um, a trail. In this case, obviously, you can see it's point six, some text information together with a map reference for those without a mobile, uh, the link there, um, and also some details about what to do and how to scan uh, the QR code or the NFC tag as well. Uh, and you can see on the phone here, uh, if we actually just uh, open this one out, then it gives more details about uh, uh, Bigner. And um, if we go further down, the particular object of interest there, which is all about um, Bigner Roman Villa. So if you'd like to see more information uh, all about QR codes or NFC tags or augmented reality, go to itsinconservation.co.uk uh, or contact Andrew.